God's love for you is not that sentimental, weak, sappy variety. Instead, this love is strong. This love is a fierce love, a burning passion to overcome evil with good. This is a love that fought for you, that died for you. So let me just ask you this. How can you and I give him anything less than all we have in our? You know, this is probably one of the most famous verses in the Bible. But sometimes we get so f- familiar with something, we don't hear anymore. But when John wrote his gospel, he said this, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. I don't know what kind of situation you are in as you watch this program right now. I don't know if you have a personal relationship with Jesus, but if you don't, I urge you to change that right now. Scripture tells us whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Not nice people, not good people. Jesus came for those of us who know we are broken. You simply have to call on his name and say, Jesus, I know I'm a sinner and I want to be saved, but I don't just want you to come into my heart. I want to be a disciple, to be changed. You know, to, it, conversion it means to turn around and go in a whole new direction. So I challenge myself as I challenge you, let's live like believers this year, not as churchgoers, not just as Bible readers. Let's live as those who have read the word of God and it is alive in us. And every moment or every day, we're looking for opportunities to share the good news that God so loved the world that he gave. He gave everything for us. How could we possibly want to hold anything back?